Hey everyone, as promised, I wanted to give you a quick rundown of year two at Pooms if you are trying to prepare in advance or get some sort of structure as you get ready to start classes. And so first things first, as soon as you start the year, you're gonna jump right into autopsy, which is in person. That's gonna be one full week and it really just depends on what takes place at the hospitals as far as which autopsies you get to be a part of. Obviously, um, that's not something they can control. So what will happen is if you don't have a body, you'll have a lecture for that day and it'll be on something that's really high yield. So talking a lot about cardiovascular disease, things like atherosclerosis and like what that does and the downstream effects. Um, but if you do have a body that day, then essentially you'll have a lecture for half of the class about your case and then you'll go in together with the team and actually participate in an autopsy and get to observe the entire process. So make sure you get a strong stomach. I wouldn't recommend a big breakfast on those days, um, but that's gonna be your first real class in person in your second year. Other than that, uh, as part of patho, like autopsy is a part of patho in general, and you've already started patho hopefully by this point, you should have already done block one over in first year. And then during the summer, you should review the content if you haven't already get on that. And then you're gonna complete your other blocks. So there are five blocks for pathology. And like I mentioned in a previous video at the very tail end of the first year prep course, what I personally would recommend, sorry, this is my printed copy that I take with me to the beach, but Fundamentals of Pathology by Dr. Sitar is absolutely amazing. It's known as Pathoma, lovingly. Um, there are videos online as well as this textbook, and I highly recommend going through all of the topics prior to lecture. So that way, when you get to lecture, you already have some sort of foundation. Um, and that way you can absorb more of the information, get some repetition in there, and then focus on some of the more high yield elements in their lectures that come directly from Robbins. So that's really, I think, the nitty gritty part. The patho blocks involve slides from lab as well as some of the lecture material. There are five blocks that cover like five to seven chapters each, and you get all that information in the syllabus so you can prepare kind of in advance each of the topics before lecture. So that's that. The other really big doozy, and what I would recommend you spend your summer on if it's not too late already, is farm. Pharmacology is an awesome subject, and I personally really liked it because it finally starts connecting all of the things you've learned. So as you're going through pathology and pharmacology, you finally feel like you're learning what it takes to be a doctor, and you can look at like a clinical vignette and be like, all right, I know this person has this, I know what it's doing from a mechanistic level, and here's how we treat it and why. Uh, but that being said, one of the best resources you can use is Sketchy Medical, like I mentioned before, so Sketchy Farm. They're visual mnemonics in a video series that you can subscribe to online. Um, and those are really, really good at memorize, helping you memorize all of the really critical details and high yield elements of like the mechanism of action and uh, different characteristics of each drug that you use, where it's acting and how it works. If you can do that before class, then the lectures from our department here at Pooms are absolutely sufficient to help you pass not only internal exams, and, but also to prepare you for things like STEP. So key there is to cover the material before class, but unlike sketchy micro or sketchy parasitology, the sketches are really long. Each of these videos could be like upwards of 35 minutes even. So I highly recommend getting a head start and covering as much of this as you can over the summer before your second year. That way it's a little bit more palatable as you go throughout the year to cover the rest of the material. Definitely cover it all before lecture, then pay attention to lecture. That way by the time seminar comes around, when the professors are grilling you on questions, you're actually prepared and you won't frustrate them by not knowing the answers. So that's that. Um, one other thing for farm that you can use is, again, those Kaplan study books that I mentioned before that are a little bit smaller. You can buy them from an upper year and the farm one is really straightforward. It just goes over like mechanism of action, keeps things really simple, um, super easy to run through that before you even hit lecture. So highly recommend. Okay, next on the list, lab med. That is a beefy course. Over the course of just a few months, you're gonna cover so many different labs and they're gonna talk about normal lab values, how they can deviate, what pathologies that can indicate. And so you really, really wanna pay attention in those labs particularly, but lectures as well. And the best thing I can tell you to do is to use their slides. They cover everything thoroughly. I don't think you need any external text to help you with this class. Just realistically pay attention in class, do all of the practice problems essentially, all the clinical vignettes you get during lab, take notes, be engaged, and then you'll be fine for their final. Totally fair game. That department is amazing. They're super helpful. If you come to them with questions, they'll do anything they can to make sure you understand what's going on. So that one's pretty straightforward. Behavioral science. I uh, There are two things that I use for this. One is my trusty first aid book. 
my own little personal tabs. Makes things a lot easier. Highly recommend making them. But I actually used the psych section in this book and I think it was phenomenal. I also paired this with the USMLE, USMLE RX videos for all of psych. Um, and then I also used BRS. So we actually, when we had our Kaplan course, which you'll have at the end of second year, uh, the author of the BRS for behavioral science came and presented to us and she's brilliant. But that textbook is absolutely enough to get through the entire course. Just pay attention to their lecture seminars and read that. Uh, it's super easy to stay on top of that topic and you'll do well both internally and then also uh, that's currently as I'm going through your world that's like my number one subject as a result of studying for that class pretty well so that's all you need for that. Immunology is kind of a big one not really it's a smaller course with just one final exam but uh, what I would recommend doing is looking into finding a copy of the actual immunology textbook that the professors here have made it's small it's green and you can get it for like maybe 40 Z's or something. If you can't find it, you can have a printed copy made from the university bookstore. So just ask around and upper years will help you find it. Everything in their final comes out of that book. So if you've read it cover to cover, it's a sh super short read. You can get it done in about a week. You'll know everything you need to know for their exam. And it also helps a lot to prepare before seminars because those professors, particularly Dvorovsky, he actually really likes to ask you questions that are specific that come directly out of that text. So highly recommend doing it beforehand. You can even potentially get extra credit points if you're prepared for the seminars. Uh, epidemiology, hygiene, and public health are all really short classes with only a few lectures each. What you should know about that is that all three of them are graded and typically your final is accumulation of like questions from all three subjects. And so you'll get one assigned grade for all three courses. When we were online for COVID, we took all courses and exams separate and then they just averaged our grade for one grade. So just keep that in mind that it is a graded course. For those courses, I think the syllabi are really good at telling you what's gonna be on the exams. So just look at past study guides for that um, from previous years and it should give you an idea of what to focus on and you'll be totally fine. So I think those are probably the big groups of classes you should be vigilant about. That being said, there's two other things at the tail end of your second year you should be prepared for. One is internal medicine. And so basically what's gonna happen is you'll have anywhere from four to eight weeks, depending on how much they space out your classes, where each of your lab groups will be shadowing different departments in the hospitals around Pusen. And basically all you need to get out of this course at this point before you start your like clinical clerkships in your third year will be how to do a physical exam um, and essentially how to take some a patient's history. That's it. That's all you need to pull from it. There are textbooks and I recommend um, Schwartz Physical Diagnosis. I can actually post it in the description if you're looking for something really beefy to go through. Otherwise, show up ask questions. You can look up OSCE videos on YouTube for free that give you a really good idea of what to look for in a physical exam. They're going to change depending on which department you're shadowing. So pay attention. If you're with cardiology for a day or if you're with derm for another day, they're all going to do things a little bit more tailored to what their specialty is. But all you need to get from that course is how do you do a physical exam, right? The rest of it is just be there, be engaged, see how much you can learn from those doctors. They're really, really, really fun to work with because they're excited about curious students, so they're happy to help teach you in any way they can. Um, but that's something to look forward to for sure when you're finally in the hospitals at the end of your second year. And the last thing, so it's kind of a bear, but our university as part of your tuition at Pooms, you actually have a Kaplan prep course built into the curriculum. And so what happens is uh, as of right now for the last two years because of COVID, we've been online, but there's still live sessions where we can have like question and answer throughout. Um, but before it used to be in person, hopefully it'll be in person this year. We'll find out. Please COVID, go away. But for the Kaplan prep course, they're basically gonna go through all of the fundamental sciences of what will be on first aid, essentially for American students. But I mean, it's pretty much analogous to Canadian exams and other ones as well. But they're gonna take you through anatomy, biochemistry, microbio, you name it, each subject one at a time. You'll have a syllabus at the beginning of the course and you're gonna have anywhere from like four to eight hours in a given day of lectures live with Kaplan professionals guiding you through these topics as a review as you prep to take exams like national licensing exams like the USMLE step one. So definitely um, keep that in mind that that's coming up. Attendance for that is mandatory. So some students get a little bit irritated because it is Sometimes a really long week, just to put it lightly. Um, but that is all in preparation for the last exam of your second year, which allows you to progress into the clinical portion of your studies. That's called CBS or Comprehensive Basic, basic Sciences. Um, 
that's going to basically cover anatomy, biochemistry, again, all the topics we've mentioned before, physiology, pathology, farm, anything that's of any substance to you. Throughout your first two years of studies, your final exams will be kind of like, they'll basically accumulate all the points that you get from your finals of these basic courses, and there will be a threshold that you need to pass in order to proceed to clinical years. If you pass the threshold before this point, with a certain amount received from uh, pathology and pharmacology, then you're all set and you can kind of pass into the next year is no problem. If for some reason you were slacking and you've not done too great on some of those and you haven't met the point threshold, then you'll have to sit CBS, which is a few hours of an exam and like 200 questions right now. And you have to actually score at a specific level in order to pass to your third year. Um, and then you'll actually also have a threshold specific for taking step. So if you haven't passed it yet and you don't, the school won't clear you to take USMLE step one. So that's something that's really crucial to keep out for uh, in this last year. That's really honestly like your end game. Um, but that I think is basically what matters I think out of your second year. You also have classes like communication skills, PE, there's CPR. You also take Polish again for a little bit. But I think all those classes are really straightforward. I don't think you're gonna need any help with that. Um, realistically throughout this year, if you're, especially if you're going back to the United States or you're planning on going there for residency, the best advice I can give you is to find some sort of USMLE prep. First aid is a great option. Um, using UWorld and their question bank, there's 3,500 questions. I mean, Kaplan is another good one. Whatever resource you find, I would start this year gearing all of your studies towards that exam and then hope that it's enough essentially to supplement your internal exams because you don't want to fall behind and you want to get as far ahead as you can in your prep so that way when you're reviewing and you're dedicated over the summer before USMLE this is not the first time you'll be seeing that information so if I can recommend anything to you it's to hopefully follow along with some of these tips but realistically sign up for a question bank like UWorld um, and really focus on long-term study habits that are benefiting your licensing exams not just your internals but other than that I think that's basically it if you have any questions be sure to comment and I'll respond to them as quickly as I can, but uh, welcome to Pooms, welcome to second year, and hope you guys do great.